Now, we are serving up a three-course meal this bank holiday Monday. Charlo, the chef at the Martello Hotel in Brea, stayed with us. It's time for the main course, Charlo, and this is a classic 80s dish, but with a little Charlo twist. A little twist at the end, yeah. How was the how was the starter, OK? Ah, oh, the mushrooms yes, were are we, savage. Are we in good form for the Yeah, ready for mains okay. now. What are you we giving us? Appetised. Appetised, OK. Um, so we're going to do a classic um, Italian lasagna, okay? OK? So what we're going to do here is we're going to do three... There's three things happening here, OK? We're going to make a bolognese sauce, we're going mm -hmm. to make a cheese sauce, mm -hmm. and we're topping the lasagna with a ricotta mm. and spinach. So that's with a little bit of little... nutmeg. That's a little, cheeky little twist. Cheeky yeah, just put me in a corner of a room with that for about 20 minutes with a spoon, yeah. a bit of bruschetta. Yeah. So what I'd like one of you to do, uh, Tommy, actually, if you don't mind, would you mind, uh, see, this is a nice uh, nutmeg, OK? Mm -hmm. Now, okay. you can buy, with sleepy fingers today. Tell you what, Charlie. You can buy the uh, nutmeg, ground nutmeg, but listen, go buy one of these, OK? This is a microplane. Yeah. 15 euro last your lifetime. Yeah. Uh, whole nutmeg is the way but to you go, guys. You can't be careful with the old nutmeg, Charlie. It's, 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 it's the whole nutmeg. You can't kill it, yeah. Is it, is it widely available? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, in, the, in the spice rack and the, the yeah. stuff. Now, how, how much would you put into that, Simon? How I'd much put, would you like? I would go about a quarter of a teaspoon. Would you? Yeah. So a, qu a quarter of a... Of, right. of a well, of a maybe a little, yeah. little bit less. Maybe I'll get some of my finger in so, here so, as well. Simon so. will tell you when to stop. But what I'm going to do here now Very is there's two stages. It's a hint, is it? Yeah, it can be like... A, I think that's plenty, Charlie. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, lovely. Well done, Tommy. Beautifully done, A little bit Tommy. of salt and pepper. Marvellous. OK. And then we can just give that a small little mix around, guys. A little okay? mixage there, Tommy. Now, what I've done here for our bolognese nutmeg... Yeah. Nutmeg is great in, in, in desserts. Cakes right? and pastries. Cakes yeah, and yeah. pastries, yeah. Great for um, like a mash as well if you're doing a nice cocktail no, mash, a little bit of nutmeg. Now Simon, now, the main what we've done, okay, is yeah. we have we've started the process here, okay? okay? We have some diced one, so you need one diced uh, white onion, mm -hmm. you need hundred grams of uh, mushrooms diced and carrots diced, one carrot okay. diced, a little bit of thyme, sweat it off for about eight to ten minutes in a little bit of rapeseed oil, and let it go nice and soft like this. Would okay? carrots traditionally be in a, an Italian lasagna or is it an Irish little addition? Well it could be a little Irish twist with all right yeah, yeah but it's yeah. normally it's normally uh, you know the mushrooms yeah, and, yeah. and the carrots and onions, okay yeah. yeah and onions yeah sorry mushrooms and, and onions now we're going to add in here 450 grams of lean so the leaner the mince the better because if you buy a nice lean mince you might pay a little bit extra but it's going to work out in the empty because it's not going to make your sauce too Watery, greasy okay yeah, yeah, yeah. greasy okay so what you got to do then 15, 20 minutes, you got to break this up and let it cook, let it sear. Brown it off. Brown it off. That's exactly the word I'm looking for. Brown and off. And then what we're going to do is we just jumped ahead here and we have some that we already browned off, OK? okay. So, so this is ready to go now. We've got... This is just exactly the stage you wanted at. You want the mince to be all nice and, uh, yeah. you know, dispersed, nothing sticking together. And you want and you get the flavours already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spike it with a little bit of garlic. Again, mm -hmm. microplane. Now when I'm making my lasagna, I love to grate the garlic. Yeah, it brings yeah, out the, the oils. Yeah, yeah. Brings out the oils, Tommy, and it also gives you that really kick of garlic. Rather than yeah. use a crusher. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to grate a whole clove of garlic in here. Yeah. Even in yeah. curries now, but it's great in ginger. Yeah, yeah. Great garlic yeah. as well. Yeah. And what yeah, it does is it, it sort of releases the oils yeah. and it gives it that really kick, you know? Lovely. So one clove of garlic is enough for this. Like if okay. you're chopping, you'd probably put two. Okay. But one clove of garlic is enough. So at this stage then we're going to add in four, uh, two 800 gram, two 400 grams of cho tin chopped tomatoes. Okay. Again, nice. quality. Buy some, buy some good chopped. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. The stuff. Good quality stuff. You, you don't blend them down at all, do you? No, no. believe yeah. it that, because it it'll blend down the sauce, Tommy, okay? And we're dropping in then two um, tablespoons mm. of uh, tomato puree, right. okay? And then minutes, we're just, yeah, no problem, we've cranked this up then, okay? And then we're going to just get on the cheese sauce while well, this is bubbling away and reducing down. Okay? So does the cheese sauce affect the best man? It's a white sauce, is it? Exactly, yeah. with, the, with the cheese added in. Exactly, and what Lovely. we're doing is we're adding in 25 grams, <clears throat> one ounce of uh, butter, and it's 25 grams, one ounce of flour, okay? Great. And that's that's basically your, your mix. So you're doing the normal white sauce, but just... Normal white cheese, sauce, add the cheese up. at the end. So we're basically, we're melting the butter. Once the butter is completely melted, 10 seconds, we're going to add in... Out about our lasagna. Our version of, of lasagna, they say it's more like a shepherd's pie, don't they? That they just well, think it's a bit too... They wouldn't have as much mince. Yeah. Well, man Giorgio Locatelli, I remember him I suppose. I suppose, like, you know, each, it's like, it's like you're making stews and all. We all have our own little variations. Yeah, you know? every yeah. country. Well, yeah, as long as you have the technique at the very start. Yeah. Um, after losing a bit of power here now, but as long as you have the technique at the very start. Um, it's the same. You know, it's the same, yeah. So once you have your roux made, OK, so equal yeah. amounts of uh, butter and flour, we're going to add in a pint of milk. Very good. OK, so a pint of milk just makes it through. Exactly, yeah. And what we're going to do then is, once the pint of milk is... Uh, it, you bring that to the boil, bring it to a rapid boil. So okay. get your power on, you OK? See, see how you can do, Simon. I have a few bits here. And then, once you get that to a rapid boil and it starts to thicken, yeah. we can add in then half of the cheese. We've got four ounces of cheese here, so we add in half of the cheese, OK? And leave it for about three or four minutes to thicken. 
Always That's come back to the sauce, there. Tommy. Yeah, always come back to the sauce and just give it a little store help it's on its way, okay? And then you'll end up with a little sauce like this and it'll tick it over time. Oh, so you have a nice little Mornay sauce, okay? Oh, a nice cheese sauce. Now it's sauce. layering time. Now it's layering time, okay? Okay. So this. real quick then, little trick when you're layering, okay, is that I like to put the sauce on first, past it, then, then the uh, bolognese, okay? So in we go, and then I'll use my lasagna sheet, so shop bought mm -hmm. lasagna sheet, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't pre-cook the lasagna sheets? No, no, I don't, no. This only takes 25 minutes in Oy. the oven. So we can just move it around like this, like so, okay? Yeah. And then don't be afraid to break up your lasagna sheets just to fit your dish, okay? Exactly, yeah. I'm using a, um, a, a four liter dish here. This mix actually will make two of these dishes, okay? You, break, you can break them into you can Break them up and get them, get them over, okay? And then one minute turtle. In, in real time, <clears throat> in real time, we'll have this reduced, okay? Now yeah. the mince is fully cooked in this, okay? Yeah. Um, in real time, we'll have a little bit more reduced, yeah, yeah. okay? We lost a little bit of power there, so well, we're still going to crank ahead, okay? I have one in the oven there just about to come out. Right. So basically what we're doing, and then what we're going to do as well is, Tommy, we're going to finish it off with a nice, what do you serve with lasagna? A nice bit of garlic bread. Oh, garlic bread. And a nice little bit of uh, uh, rocket leaves on top, okay? See, these, now, people say that this kind of stuff goes out of fashion. It's, just, it's classic. Awesome. This is a classic. It's we, classic. I, make, I would Every make week. lasagna once Every a week, week. and be yeah. two weeks, yeah. And the thing is, you're going to have sauce left over, so a lot of people would make a second one, okay? So you and just freeze it. it in... Yeah, yeah, like that, like that okay. yeah, okay. And then we just do your lasagna sheets to fit, okay? Yeah, we have to play it up, Charlie. Yeah, we have to play it up, okay, yeah. no problem. And then so that you layer see the goes on top. There yeah. with your layers, and then exactly. you ricotta on the top. And ricotta on top, and then a layer of cheese on the top right. of the ricotta. Right. Okay, and voila. This bad boy coming out of the oven. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, we so that's that. the, the layer of ricotta with a bit, with of, a bit of cheddar, cheese on, top. cheddar yeah. cheese on top of it. Now, very important as well to say, uh, just uh, a little bit of torn basil into your lasagna as well is uh, is the way to go as well, okay? You know, uh, as you, when you're doing your bolognese sauce, okay? Lovely. Now, we're going to play it up. Oh, so look that, that looks amazing. Okay, now a little bit, of, little bit of little dress rocket. It almost looks like a mix. You drizzle a, a bit of pesto yeah, around lasagna, that side. And we're going to bring, bring a little bit of very snow fancy. here. A little, a little bit Look of salt in the dish. Do you want to have a taste tonight? Great job, Charlo. Great job. Thank you. Enjoy that. Oh, we Lovely, Charlo. What's we up got for there. dessert? We got there. We got a Knickerbocker Glory. We're making this. Knickerbocker we're turning this into a Knickerbocker Parlour. Lovely. Brilliant stuff. After the break, we're crossing back to Laura, who's backstage at Ireland's Got Talent. Stay with us. Let's dig in. Oh, yes.